That's your Rush Block. I'm Liza Lucas at the 11 Alive Bridge and a British high school stirring up social debate after announcing a school ban on posh parkas and high-end winter coats. Now, Wood Church High School near Liverpool said students should leave high-end winter jackets like Canada Goose and Montclair at home. Some of those jackets run about $1,000 or more and the ban is part of a goal to, quote, poverty-proof the school and end the shaming of students who aren't as well off. Now, the school's head teacher says students approach school leaders about putting pressure on families and students and they felt this pressure to wear certain brands of coats. Now the school has also in the past banned certain types of high end bags and not the first time that they've done this but reaction has been all over the place online. Some people like Rebecca in full support saying this is why all schools should have school uniforms which they do at the school. Dave actually identifies himself as a parent of Woodchurch High and says my son's been asking for one of these coats for Christmas since the school announced this. He has told us not to buy as he can't wear it. Good news for me, Dave said. And then Evelyn saying, and don't forget Uggs, those other high-end things. But some people also wondering if this goes too far. Where is the line, guys? Yeah. Uh, so this school has about uh, 1,500 students. Almost half of them come from a disadvantaged background, um, ages 11 to 16 years old. Uh, so Liza mentioned that handbags have been part of this. Now right. we have the coats. The thing that I wonder about is at what point do we stop? You mm -hmm. know, like, can you, when I was going to school, kids were driving really high-end cars, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, Saabs and Mercedes. I never got a car until after graduate school. Yeah. Um, but at what point do you say, you know, that we're going to, does it, you know, it might apply to everything across the board, basically. I love the concept. I think the concept yeah. is excellent. It's basically trying to show, okay, don't wear your flashy things to school. I get it. I get it. You know, the, the bullying policy, all that jazz. But there is no way that you can regulate high-end cars and, and shoes and clothes. It's going to have to go there's, for everything. There's no way you should regulate it. Yeah, because that's going to take the people that are uh, a little bit more well-to-do, yeah. and then they're going to have to change their shopping just because the school is dictating That's what you can right. and cannot wear. I wore all hand-me-downs, being the youngest of mm -hmm. three boys, yeah. so I wore all hand-me-downs. I don't remember it ever being a problem. There were the section of kids in school that were richer, but I yeah. never really worried about their clothes. Mm -hmm. School uniforms. Yeah. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. Everybody's wearing the same thing, which is everybody on the same playing yeah. field. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were, I, I remember talking about the fact that you didn't have Lee jeans or you didn't have yeah. Adidas or you didn't have, ben, oh yeah, yeah, and was seized because of that. Yeah, we put so in school things. uniforms, everybody's on the same level. But these are the coats. But you still wear the coat though. Right, but that you gotta take that off. When you, get, when you yeah. get to school, you gotta take that off. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. and, and your kids are gonna find something to talk yeah. about you about. If I know I live on the east side and you live on the west side, that's gonna be a problem. But while we're in school, it's all equal. Mm -hmm. It's all equal. I can see where their heart is. I can see it, especially since uh, almost half of the population comes yeah. from a disadvantaged background. But then, then you know, it goes a little crazy. Mm -mm. One thing we need to know weather-wise. Well, no rain. At least.